you know what time it is. It's, it's game, game time. time. Oh, baby. To be playing let's be honest okay so basically we're gonna ask you questions you have to answer them honestly okay savvy if you had to be stranded on an island which three teammates would you want to be stranded with oh gosh you gotta be okay. strategic too yeah it's gotta strategy. be like survival skills okay i would definitely bring pula because she's like my mom um. <laughs> Ah, 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 ah. I was just talking about this the other day. Like, Pool is actually my mom because she tells me like when to clean my room, like how to do the dishwasher. <laughs> and, like, and I like listen. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> we like cook together, but she's like the maid chef. I'm like the sous chef. She's like, cut this onion. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All uh, right. Uh, uh. Oh, I would definitely bring Kyla because mm. I feel like she would just, uh. she would just. <laughs> she would just know what to do. That's true. true. I feel like Kyle's so she smart in all aspects of life. Oh, literally, she's got him a lot in life. She would have a game plan. She would this is solve true. the math problem of how to get off this island. That'd be like she would have you like chilling in an hour, like off the island, like in yeah. route to <laughs> on route. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, this is gonna take this long from this destination to this one. I've calculated the mile per hour. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right, let's start swimming. <laughs> So Kula, Kyla, maybe Mars, mm. because she's a good singer. Like, I feel like you would want music if you're singing. <laughs> you're right, you're right. It's true. Like to keep everyone happy, right? Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. See, that was a strategic, that was, like, planning of who she wants. Also, Kula, uh, Kula would probably find food and, like, cook for us. And Kyla would figure out how to get off the island, and, and Mars would sing, and I was just sitting there like, <laughs> I'm just running around the island like, hey! <laughs> What three things do you always have in your gym bag? Hmm. Fairy dust. Rips, deodorant, and fairy dust. Hmm. What's the strangest thing you're afraid of? Hmm. Harsh ones. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> when I go to, okay, when I go to sleep, I'm scared to put my, like, hand off my bed or anything because I feel like something's under my bed and I'm just gonna grab it. Oh, yeah. Mm. Same. Yeah. Yeah. That's a very normal fear, I feel like. Also, if I close my eyes to wash my face, I sometimes think that when I open them, I'm gonna see something scary in the mirror. That's me, too. Yeah, yeah I get like that, too. And so I'm like washing my face with one eye open. <laughs> yeah. Like I just think someone's gonna be there. Like it's totally unrealistic, but I was thinking about the strange thing you're scared of. Mine was milk mustaches. <laughs> 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 Why? More about when I was little, like I had this nightmare about like all these milk mustache people like chasing <laughs> me. I was like five and I swear it until I was nine, I was terrified oh, of them. Yeah. You know like the got milk ads scared the living <laughs> day. Of me. Every time we went you to better the not store, you would, oh my gosh, I was like turning the other one, like, no, no, no. But they like made me so uncomfortable. That's so odd. Yeah. <laughs> What's the strangest, craziest thing that's happened to you while in competition? My, no, this is regionals. In level 10, I think my my sophomore year, I was on my last event. My whole meet was great. And then I went to bars. Bars is like my best event, usually. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, all right, like just gotta do my routine. Warm up was fine. I go to compete. I jump on the board. I jump on the wrong part of the board and I jump to a dead hang. <laughs> <laughs> I jump to a dead hang and I'm hanging there. And I look over to my coach and I'm like, Exactly. You gotta fit it. <laughs> and then the rest of the team routine was like spastic. <laughs> I remember just like, I was just like freaking out. <laughs> that's, that's like I, such a thing you don't want to, you don't want to start your routine and just Yeah, so I think that was, that was pretty strange. <laughs> oh, there was another time, my first level 10 meet, I, it was like my first time competing in release moves. My warm up was so bad, like, I think everyone was scared for my life. Like, this is my warm up. Blind change, fall, get off the bar, second turn. Blind change, Jaeger, missed by a mile. <laughs> my third turn, dismount, pull in, hit my, like, head slash shin. Yikes! Oh my god! This is all in one warm up? That was, all, that was my warm up. And then it was like, alright, you ready to compete? And it was like, this small meet too, so my coach is like over here like yelling at me like, what are you doing? I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, am I still competing? He's 
like, yeah. I'm like, alrighty. And then I like competed my routine and it was fine. And I just, <laughs> I remember like hitting everything except the dismount. Or was everyone just like, what just happened? Yeah, I gave everyone a heart attack, including myself. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of your head coach, Chris Waller? He's like a dad. He's a second dad. Mm, oh, that's nice. what I think. Like he really has your best interests. Like you as a person, he really cares about you as a person. And then like you the athlete second. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, Chris, you're I watching this. Man, friend. <laughs> What's the most annoying thing about you? <laughs> what I just did. What? I clear my throat, throat a lot. Really? I go, <clears throat> yeah. I've never noticed. Really? No. I think that's the most annoying thing. <laughs> I also tend to just like make noises randomly. So cute though. No. That's not annoying though. No. Yeah. Not to me at least, but maybe some people are just like, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, what is a sport you don't understand? Any sports that involve a ball. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't understand rugby at all. Rugby? Yeah. Yeah, because the ball gets thrown backwards. Uh huh. That's, That's confusing. Sport that I don't understand. Because it's football and soccer mixed, right? Because they can kick it, but they don't wear pads. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, you're they can kick it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. They can. Like, they're allowed to kick it. So that's okay. like the difference between like football at least, but then they don't wear pads. I yeah, don't I don't know, that's confusing. <laughs> Name three things to describe yourself. Happy. <laughs> Happy, uh, sparkles, fairies. <laughs> Happy sparkle fairies. Happy sparkle fairies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess it's pretty much me. <laughs> ah, thanks Abby for playing, let's be honest. Ah, thanks for having me. You're welcome. That's fun. Alright guys, thanks for watching another episode of The Honestly Show. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, hit that bell button, and we will see you guys soon. Bye! 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 <laughs> <laughs>